Okay, hey everyone, project update. So I've used Apple stuff for probably 20 years. Apple stuff. And their stuff is really solid, really fast. But for me lately, the approach they're taking and their software is suffering from that new wonderfully accurate term that is inshittification. So what do we do? Well, I already went through the process of switching from iOS to Android, and I'm still alive. And people even still text me. So it's possible. You don't have to use iMessage. Um, so if I want to switch away desktops from Apple, there's not a lot of choices. We got Windows, but if you've used Windows, you know you don't want to use Windows. I have to use Windows for work. That's no fun. I want no part of it. And that leaves us pretty much just Linux. That rabbit hole of nerdery that is Linux on the desktop. It's almost like telling your music friends that you're getting into modular synthesis, um, which I tried. So do we dare go into Linux on the desktop? We do. We do dare. I found an old desktop from Dell on eBay that I would feel okay messing around with. I bought that for 200 bucks, erased it, and installed Linux. And it was easy. It was easy. I picked the, hey, you're switching from Mac, just try this, Ubuntu. I tried it, it worked. It's really nice, it's really nice. Am I making this on it? Yes, I am. Can I read email? Yeah. Can I make videos? Yeah. Can I listen to Spotify? Yeah. Can I spend too much time reading the news if I want to? Yes, absolutely. Um, surprisingly, it's been fun. Actually fun. I don't know if you remember this, but computers, exploration, learning, it can be fun. You don't have to just be shoveled ads and upgrade paths and be warned, oh, you're about to be out of storage. Um, and the more I use this, the more it makes me think that Apple stuff can you open up your Mac and add more RAM? No. When you're running out of space, can you open it up and put in a bigger hard drive? No, you cannot. Can you tell the OS you want to do whatever you want and install whatever you want? No, you cannot. You can do all that stuff with this Linux stuff. However, there's a huge learning curve. Mm, let's say you want to do something like, you know, install an app. There's not just one place. You can run a curl command in the terminal. Or there's something called a flat pack. There's something called a snap. Or do you use the Debian version? So that's a big learning curve. I don't know all that stuff yet, but I'm learning it and I'm actually having fun learning it. I'm actually having fun learning it. It wasn't that hard to switch. I'd say the iOS to Android was harder. I paid for an app called 1Password. I exported all my passwords out of Safari, imported them into 1Password, and I'm set up. There's a large community of people online messing with the appearance, customizing how it looks. That's a lot of fun. And your computer starts to feel like yours again. You're not being pushed on upgrade paths. There's no ecosystem login. You're not being shoveled um, new OS upgrades that you have to install because they have a new feature that they have to add so they can sell more computers, you know? So I'm having a lot of fun. Maybe you'll have fun. Let me know if you're trying it. Let me know, maybe you've already been doing this for 10 years and I'm just way behind. Either way, computers are fun. Computers are fun, guys.